Hey y'all, this is uh, Jonas. Alice, Alice. We got the twins in the back. But as we was driving, we was thinking about. Hey, we was thinking about like the fact that you know we cut off our student loans and we just feel like a weight is off our shoulders, off our backs. And sometimes I, I catch myself thinking like, man, am I missing a payment or you know? I'm scared I missed the payment because I don't have to make that payment anymore. Essentially, essentially, like paying off the student loans, that's putting like over a thousand dollars back in our in our pocket a month, you know. Just tell just tell them what we did, like what our decision was for paying it off. Yeah, so when we got married, we decided you know, that was a goal of ours to, to pay off our student loan in five years. So we both, you know, both started working. Um, and previous to that, you were already making very small payments. Yeah, I was making small payments before we got married. Yeah. I mean, there, you weren't ever not paying anything. No, I was paying like maybe like 50, 50, 100 bucks a month. Yeah. Towards my student loans. Then at one point, I deferred my student loans. <laughs> okay. Why are you looking at me? You know what I'm saying? At one point I had to defer them so I didn't have to make any payments. But I was still making payments on them. Like I just deferred it just so I didn't have to make payments if I didn't, like if I came to a month where I couldn't make a payment. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. <laughs> what happened? My breast ain't? Uh huh? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Which, why you make that face like that? Ellis, you see the cars? Through the cars. Oh, look it. Well, there goes one. Wow, buddy. You want some food? You want to eat, buddy? Okay, so back to the payments because you were you deferred payments at one point but for the majority of the time, you're always making at least a small contribution to your yeah. loans. And when we came out here after we got married and we got um, jobs in the, the tech, uh, industry. tech industry, we were able to make larger payments yeah. um, because of course our income increased. But then, then what happened? Then, years went by, we have been making financial Sacrifices, yeah. you know. Uh, so we would eat, eat in. We would cook. We wouldn't go out. We recycle clothes every, you know, <laughs> every week almost. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't really go on vacations. Didn't really. By like recycling clothes, we were, we would take our clothes to Crossroads, and which is basically a place where you can bring your clothes and they'll give you money for them. Yeah. But they're really picky, so like, whatever. And then the clothes... But, then the but clothes that was we, gas money. Like yeah, We would money. get maybe, what, 50 to $70 each time. Yeah. And, and then the clothes that they didn't take, we would go sell them on eBay. Yeah, we'd do eBay, go. and then whatever wasn't sold, we would uh, bring it to Goodwill. Goodwill. And then use the tax write-off. Tax write-off, yeah. So essentially, you're always getting... Something, something back, something back, and not just throwing it away. Hey, the baby. Okay, so, and then get to the point. So t the point is, we was we're making money and we were lowering our expenses. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you have more coming in than going out, that means you save more money, you have more money. Mm -hmm. And we got to a point to where. We had enough money in our bank account. <laughs> yeah, we almost, we almost there. We're gonna get you some food, okay? Finish your story. Agree. We about to go. We're gonna go here. <laughs> and this is another thing we do. You know, we use gift cards. This oh, is free. Yeah. <laughs> so we've used a couple, but we still have. Two free either fruit salad, parfait, or smoothie. You're about to get that right now. Free? Free 99. Sure. 
So we had enough money in the bank account. We had a decision to make. Yeah. We can either continue making payments, mm -hmm. that means like large payments. Yeah. But even when you're making payments, you're still accruing interest. interest. So the other big decision was, do we pay it off in one lump sum? Yeah. But and that's we, a big risk because is. you have to be willing to essentially lose that big chunk of money. Yeah. But looking at it, uh, we were looking in the future. Yeah, looking not in just the future. Right looking in the future, what do those decisions look like? Yeah, we saved about when all said and done from from interest alone, we saved about five thousand dollars interest alone. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do that. So I came home from work. I was at work talking about it with Allison through text message. I came home from work. I got home, sat down on the laptop, and I made those payments. Boy, I made that. that you made that one that lump one, sum. One lump sum, the final payment. Just boop. It was, a big, it, was a big, it was a big chunk of change. A big chunk of change. <laughs> Could have bought a brand new car. Could put a down payment on a house. Yeah. <laughs> But we feel so much better, man. Like it's that was the the, the, the smartest decision we we've ever made. Okay, so let's be honest. Do you feel that your education, your college education, was worth it? I mean, I, I feel like it was worth it, but. Had I gone to a cheaper school because I put my own stuff through college, you know, mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't have parents that helped me with college, so I could have went to a cheaper school and played ball. Because of where, where I went, where I went to school and played ball, like I got scholarships and you know stuff like that, grants, and it covered school. But the fact that I went to a private school, it costs more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. But do you feel like your school has benefited your current state? of where you are today? Do you feel like your education is the reason you are where you are today? To be honest with you, no. The reason why I am where I am today is because of, like... The fact that you are Chatty Cathy and you know how to network. Yeah, network ability, yeah. Yes. Networking and, and I'm a risk taker. But Do school helped. School, well, of course, because most uh, employment places are not going to look at you unless you have a college degree. I'm not a chatty Cathy though. That's yes, funny. you are. I'm not. Yes, you are, Jonathan. Yeah. Fine, chatty Chad. Ain't no chatty Chad. Better? Ain't no chatty Chad either. Do you feel that if you went to a name school like Santa Clara University? Do you feel like your employment options or or where you are today would have been different? Oh yeah, for sure. It's, it's definitely about the name of your school, where you went. So do you feel like workplaces discriminate against unknown colleges or, or smaller? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say discriminate. Not brand name. I wouldn't say discriminate. I think, um, I think they just, they, they see it as if you went to one of these top schools, then you're smart. You know, it's perception. Mm -hmm. Like if I if I can't work every day with my with my hair, you know, so a lot of wag and just yeah. sweats and stuff. You know, they were looking at me. But different. I'm saying like if you were you, yeah. just like this, yeah. walk into work, casual clothes, but they knew that you went to Harvard. Do you think you'd be looked at differently? Yeah, I mean, they would, they would be like, oh, he, he went to Harvard, so maybe that's how they do it in Harvard, you know? But the fact that you went to Holy Names University, which is a private school, private college in Oakland, yeah. do you feel like that plays in, into it? Oh, it definitely plays into it. Because it's a smaller school, it's unknown. So how would you, what do you think we should do differently for our kids? We should homeschool them, for sure. Do you feel like creating a college savings fund is the right thing to do? 
give no, them. No, I think we should create we, we should create an education fund, and not a, and not necessarily a college saving fund. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by education, you never know. Like Ayla is is really gifted in in, 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 in the arts, music, and whatnot. She's mm -hmm. always dancing, always trying to sing and stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't know. She may be the next Aretha or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Or she could be the next Ava, or Oprah. Ava. Ava DuVernay. Oh. Or okay. Oprah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? She could be the next person, that the next woman that creates like, in, like really creative, engaging content that changes people's lives. Mm -hmm. So the only way to foster that is if she's if she's good at something, continue to hone those skills and what she's good at. Mm -hmm. If she's not good at math, why why teach her math? Like why continue to teach her math if she's not good at it? Well, no, I'm saying like yeah, you should still she, learn. But well, she's gonna learn but all. Her her, she's focus, gonna learn. Her focus should not be math. Yeah, like I'm saying she, she will learn. Yeah, if she wants to do something else, I just believe in letting kids learn what they're passionate about. Yeah still have the skills to function in everyday life but right. when it comes down to you know what are they going to do in their future i think that's really up to them it shouldn't i think a lot of schools i think a lot of standard ed, standardized education i think it pushes people to be mediocre yeah it's just my opinion yeah i'm gonna check on air okay well, we'll, we'll be come back. back to you we'll come back